Syria, Mali, South Sudan. Thousands of people in need of protection and assistance. A multiplication of new refugee crises unmatched in recent UNHCR history. At UNHCR's annual executive committee meeting, the High Commissioner described the situation as dire. Already in 2011, as crisis after crisis unfolded, more than 800,000 people crossed borders in search of refuge. An average of more than 2,000 refugees every day. And this was higher than at any time in the last decade. The High Commissioner says the succession of crises has tested UNHCR's capacity to deliver. To be more effective, partnerships have been forged with NGOs, host governments, and other UN agencies. Based on a cooperative relationship, WFP and UNHCR are currently conducting joint operations in 37 countries, helping almost 10 million refugees, returnees, and displaced people. Addressing the meeting, the executive director of the World Food Program explained that it is a trend both agencies will pursue. The High Commissioner and I continue to compare notes on efforts to realign our agencies to make them more effective and efficient, ensuring that our teams can continue working together more effectively with well-monitored and impactful results. The other major challenge is funding. In 2011, UNHCR spent $2.18 billion. The projection for 2012 especially for emergencies, will be higher. To continue operating, more funding will be needed. At this time of economic crisis, I am aware of the pressures on humanitarian aid budgets. Yet, curtailing humanitarian assistance will turn out to be more costly in the long run. I therefore appeal to all our donors, both traditional and non-traditional, for additional support at this critical juncture in which our financial capacity has been stretched to the limit. Recently, conflicts have appeared where they were least expected, said the High Commissioner. Violence erupted in places like Syria, Mali, South Sudan, bringing havoc to entire societies, pushing thousands upon thousands into a life of uncertainty and insecurity. Ongoing support from the international community and political resolution lies at the heart of durable solutions.